Easy, Luis. It's me, Hank. Hey, buddy. Obviously, you're working. Just doing a little foot patrol. Been some incidents in the area lately. I'm innocent, I swear. If you don't believe me, you can ask my brother Sam, the police chief. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll take your word for it. This time. I know I've been away for a while, but since when is there a crime wave in Harmony? Yeah, it's more like a swell. And these muggings are the first in a while, and they just started up. I guess that means I can't talk you into a game of pool over at Jack's? Ah, not tonight. I'm working OT. Maybe tomorrow if I get the night off. Yeah, but if you get the chance to work overtime tomorrow, you'll probably do it. Well, could be. You know, how can you and I be such good buddies but so different at the same time? Look, we're not so different, Hank. Give me a break. You're like the good son and brother in your family, and I'm like the black sheep in mine. Oh, tell me. Does that black sheep routine of yours work with the women? Oh, you better believe it. They all want to be the one who turns me around, you know, and saves me from myself. It's the best line I've ever come up with. Speaking of women, how are you and Sheridan doing at the youth center since uh, she whipped your butt in b-ball? Lucky shot. Besides, I'd have played a whole different game if I'd have known Sheridan was going to cheat. Sour grapes, man. She beat your butt. Oh, yeah, with a little help from one of the biggest stars in the NBA. You know, it's just amazing what Crane money can buy. You know, I give her points for just thinking of hiring Robert Ory as her personal coach. It's pretty creative. Pretty underhanded, if you ask me. Oh, lighten up, Luis. If Sheridan's last name was anything but Crane, you'd be giving her credit where it was due for her being so smart. Admit it. You're just steamed because it was Sheridan. Which galls you the most, Luis, that you lost to a woman or lost to a crane? <laughs> Neither. Until you brought it up, I'd forgot it even happened. Oh, like hell. You're one of the most competitive guys I know. You can't stand the fact that Sheridan got the better of you on you know, the turf. If she'd have played fair and square, it'd be a different story. But she bought her win. Using the crane influence and money. And she, just like she thinks she can buy her way in and out of everything in life. Whatever happened to playing by the rules, Hank? Reality check, buddy. Everyone plays by their own rules. You need to learn to accept that or you're in for a rough road. Oh, well, I am who I am. And I'm not going to change now. Especially not for Sheridan Crane. <laughs>